So my family goes to Martha's Vineyard every summer, which is this really little island um, right off the coast of Massachusetts. And even though it's like on the water and there are all these beautiful beaches, the middle of the island is filled really densely with forests. So to get to any of the houses, you go on these like long driveways and then you go up these really long roads and each house feels very isolated, which is cool because it's one of the things people love so much about it. But it means that when you're in your home, you're not seeing other neighbors and there's no one walking across your yard. Um, and so my uh, family was there and I was two and my older sister was four and I was there with my parents and then my grandma came for a few days to visit. And uh, she had my parents go out on a date night one night and she was taking care of my sister and I. And this house was really big and really, really old and really beautiful. But any noise you made in any room was heard throughout the entire house because every wall was really thin and everything was just kind of falling apart. Um, so we are sitting at the kitchen counter and there's this little island. And so my grandma is standing and walking around the kitchen as my sister and I are eating dinner. And from the kitchen, we can see the front door and we watch my parents leave and then we see the car pull out and the screen door closes behind them. And we're sitting there and I don't really remember anything that clearly, but um, my grandma's sitting there talking to us. And as we're standing there, she hears a sink turn on in the bathroom that's down the hallway. And so she walks down the hallway and she goes into the bathroom and she calls my mom's name and she thinks maybe my dad ran back in the house to go to the bathroom before they left. And no one's answering. So she goes in and she turns off the faucet and she figured like old house, like sink might turn on, no big deal. And as she walks back into the kitchen, the kitchen sink turns on. And she, like, she heard it turn on before she walked in, so she thought maybe my sister had gotten up, and I was too little to, like, crawl out of my high chair and, like, crawl across the counter. And she was like, Catherine, why did you turn the water on? And my sister was like, I didn't get up. And so she started feeling like maybe, like, something was off, like something my parents had come home, and we're standing in the kitchen, and she hears the screen door close. So as she walks to the screen door, she starts feeling really disoriented, and she realizes that the like wooden door in front of the screen door had been closed, and so someone would have had to like from the inside open the screen door and closed it and without leaving. Um, and so she starts feeling like again really disoriented and comes into the kitchen and decides she wants to just kind of like get us into bed and settle everything in and know that everything's okay. So she tells my sister to get up and as she's picking me up to get out of my hay chair, my sister runs into the toy room and starts talking to somebody. And my sister's like, dad, dad, look at this, look at this. And my grandma goes like, Catherine, your dad's not home. And she walks into the playroom and like, there's no one in there. And so she's figuring like, again, she's trying to kind of like console herself and say like, little kids do this all the time, whatever, not a big deal. And we're walking up the stairs and we go into bed and my grandma puts us to sleep. And she keeps, she just always like said that she felt like something was off, like she felt like something wasn't right. And so she called my parents to make sure everything was okay. And she asked if they'd come home or anything and they'd been at the restaurant the whole time. And so she goes into her bathroom and she starts getting ready for bed. And right as she walks out the bathroom, there's this shelf that like takes up like half of the wall. It's kind of like a medicine cabinet right next to the mirror, but it's like, the shelves were like three or four inches deep. So to take anything off of them, you would have had to like reach over and pick it up to take it off. It's not like anything's just gonna fall. And she's walking out of the bathroom and she feels like this like breeze like come in behind her. And as she turns around, everything from the bottom shelf just like flies off. Like not, it's not like the shelf was falling and other things came up too. It just felt like something was like taking their hands and like flinging it off. And so she ran out of the room and she got my sister and I and we went outside and she called my parents and we packed up and left, moved to another house the next day and 